Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Wing Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 25th, 2024. Well, happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone had a great afternoon, a great evening, and ready for another wild day in the market. First off, let's take a look at what happened overnight here. Um, quickly, we had Asian markets um, mostly higher uh, last night with some uh, pretty good moves. We had uh, Shanghai up 0.59%, Hong Kong was up 0.49% or 100 points. Um, India was down, South Korea was lower. We had the Nikkei just a little bit lower by 229 points or 0.60%. And Australian markets squeaked out a $5 gain up 0.06%. If we take a look at Europe this morning, Europe's got a little bit of a mix. They had a couple of disappointing earnings come out over there, um, shaking things up just a little bit. But it's not terrible. It's modest declines with the CAC down 0.14%, FTSE down 0.03%, and the DAX up 0.15%. And then if we take here a look at U.S. futures, we're green across the board this morning. U.S. futures trying to push up the Dow is currently up 99 points or 0.23%. S&P futures up 15 points. NASDAQ futures are looking up 58 points this morning. Trying to follow through with that little bit of a bounce yesterday. Let's take a look at what's going on in oil. If we take a look at XLE here this morning, not a whole lot of price movement there, but we do have oil trying to bounce back up after some selling yesterday. Right now, oil futures are up 40 cents at $70.60 a barrel. We have Brent crude up 49 cents at $74.87 a barrel. Natural gas at the moment is flat, unchanged here um, this morning. Uh, it's been bouncing around just a little bit in here uh, this morning, but relatively flat. If we take a look at the precious metals markets this morning, my goodness, gold had a good day yesterday again, popping back up, but we are pulling it back here today. But you'll notice we're just in a consolidating range here the last couple of days here in gold. Um, so just resting um, at the moment. It doesn't seem to be any major give up in this just yet. Right now, gold futures down $16.50 an ounce. Silver is down this morning as well, uh, $0.45.5 cents an ounce. We've got copper lower, platinum lower, and palladium. Boy, palladium had an amazing day yesterday. Just a huge pop. So we'll talk about this just a little bit but it is pulling back here this morning so keep an eye on that then if we take a look at crypto uh, crypto markets well we've got um, Bitcoin just a little bit lower now Bitcoin had a great day yesterday pushing up strongly but this morning down three hundred and forty eight dollars a coin you can see right here just a little bit lower here in BITO. Ether, however, is up $4.68 a, a coin. So kind of keep that in mind. A little bit of mix in the cryptos here this morning. So what does all that mean for the day? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Remember, we want to look at these without a bias. We want to look at them for what they are, not for what we want them to be, and be thinking about the situation for the day. What is that market condition and what could really affect the market? Could it be bullish or bearish? And looking at both sides, we can be better prepared for our trading day. So taking a look at the diamonds, you can see we pulled back here yesterday and we tested this support hard even broke through and then finally got a little bounce back up there in the diamonds and pushing here this morning pushing back up just a little bit as well so 
if those bulls can continue to find that inspiration today, then I'm going to look right up in here and say that's the area that we need to try and test. Push up here to see if we can break back through that area. If we can, you can see if I draw a line across here, I'm kind of tying all of these candles together. This one, this one, this one, they're kind of all being tied together. So that would be the next resistance to the upside to see if we can push through there and then past that point, we can see if we could drive right on up here and retest those all-time highs and of course blue sky above that now if the bears were to find inspiration today retest of this support would seem um, like a, a likely possibility retesting that support and if that were to um, break then i'm thinking we might come down here and test yesterday's low beyond that if we really start to push further than that we really run that risk that we can drift down into these areas of price support in the chart that consolidation that we were in for such a long time if that were to fail then i'm looking at this area of support right here uh, to try and catch us and I think a little bit of fear in the market would creep up if that would occur if we um, take a look at our um, spy now S&P 500 still remains in a bullish uh, pattern there's no no major bearishness here although we did have that test down here to test some of these support levels here in the chart yesterday we dipped a little bit didn't come back and retest those lows and so now we see a little bit of bullish action coming in so let's assume if we can get a bullish uh, move here we need to deal with some of the underneath side of this resistance in the chart break back through there and if we can do that then we can be up here retesting highs and maybe even all-time highs in the spy so watch that closely here for the day if those bears however were to find inspiration maybe a retest of yesterday's low and then back down here we would test that low and then back down into this area of the chart now breaking back down through here would probably be a little bit of a fearful event for the market and we do have you know some intermediate support in here that we can grab on to but um, the big area of support would be down here and that is a very substantial area of support in the spy so watch that carefully and I think that would be a fearful move if that were to occur if we take a look at our QQQ QQQ also still remaining in a nice bullish pattern nice little consolidating range in here push down yesterday gave a pretty substantial test it, excuse me did not do that yesterday the day before yesterday we continued to hold in here yesterday with this little spinning top doji really couldn't get a whole lot going in here on the day we are trying to push up this morning so let's look at a test of this resistance here in the chart see if we can break through there if we can break through there then we have that opportunity to come up here and break the top of that black candle right here that's going to be a critical area because that is still that possible little lower high here in the chart so we need to try and pop that if we pop that then i'm looking at this resistance right up here and then we'll start looking out for that opportunity to break through to um, all-time highs here in the QQQ. Now remember, best chance of this is probably next week once we start getting some of those big tech reports. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM, well, just really isn't very loved at the moment. Um, it did rally just a little bit yesterday, pushing up toward this resistance, and I would say that's our test right now. See if we can push up there and break back through that area. If we can break back up through that area, we're going to start looking at some of these levels in here in between, and then back up into here uh, to see if we can stretch on up. Breaking through this area up here, that means we have that opportunity to test this recent high and breaking through there, 
Well, then we start looking at those 2021-2022 highs in IWM for a resistance level. There again, if the bears can find inspiration here today, well, it's really not that hard to see. We could push back down in here and test the lows of some of these candles in here and maybe even coming on back down into this area of price support or even that kind of flat upside trend in the chart. Breaking down below there would probably be when we really come into some fear um, in the market. Um, right now that doesn't seem to be a likely case because there is so much hype and anticipation on big tech reports and the market really seems to be keyed in and hopeful that the that AI and tech reports can carry this entire market higher. Certainly possible, but watch carefully if we happen to stumble. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX did rise a little bit yesterday, but flattened back out here again on the day. What is important to note in here is we do have this downtrend and we're trying to sneak up through there but just not able to hold it through the end of the day so right now what we're doing is we're just holding on to this price support in the chart there is some uncertainty here in the market and a lot of that uncertainty lies in you know the geopolitical events going on um, around the world of course our bond yields are causing quite a bit of uncertainty here in the market um, as they continue to stay elevated. We also have the uncertainty of the coming election and um, that's creating um, this uncertainty in the market. So we still run that possibility of a higher low in here. If fear were to come in the market, that higher low could come into place and we could see those bears really start to push to the upside if something fearful happens. Now, if the bulls continue to find that inspiration or if big tech can produce what the market is really hoping for, then maybe we can start breaking this area down and start coming down into the support levels of the chart and relieving some of that uncertainty and pressure that we're seeing here in the market. If we take a look at our T20s, the old T2122 indicator, nice little pop up yesterday. Early in the day, we popped up here, but then as the selling came back into the diamonds, we eased that off and pulled it back. Um, this right now looks like a little bit of a relief rally that could certainly carry through today. We've seen that pretty commonly on Fridays lately, we get a gap up and then some kind of relief to the upside. So watch that carefully if we can relieve this back up just a bit. But remember, that doesn't remove us from that possibility of some um, trouble in the market um, as we continue to see these bonds be problematic. Now, if we can find inspiration today in any of the economic or earnings data today, we've got a good upside potential here in uh, T2122. And of course, if the bears were to find inspiration today, it means we've opened up an opportunity here on that relief rally for those bears to push back. So watch that closely. Our T2108, I gotta tell you guys, it just wasn't impressive yesterday. Although we did bounce and rally, our T2108 did tip up just a little bit but nothing impressive. We're still below our 50% area here. So uh, more than half of our stocks are below their 40 day moving average. If you look right in here, we broke a little bit of resistance in that chart. So rallying back up, we need to see if we, on this pushback of this relief, if we can push back up here break back through that 50% and then we can start looking up here for some of these resistance areas in the chart. If the bears, however, were to find some reason to uh, push today, then noting that we're below the 50%, we can move pretty quickly on uh, some kind of fear and drop down into some of these levels of price support in the chart. Then our T2107, very much the same. Um, although we did have that relief back up, it wasn't, whoops, it was not all that impressive yesterday in that pushback. Notice that we have broken this little bit of price support area here in the chart on T2107, and that relief did bounce back up there, coming close to testing that. 
Here in T2107, the percentage of stocks above the 200, we're still enjoying that nice situation where we're well above 50% of the stock holding above, or 50% of the market holding above its 200 day. But we still want to watch that uh, potential condition here of this resistance above as we start to re, um, rally back up. And if the bears were to find inspiration, well, you can see we've got room to move to the downside. So watch that carefully here. We need to see a little bit more action here in the market to get some. Well, get some of those warm and fuzzies back. Our T2101 had a breadth improvement yesterday, but it's interesting on that breadth improvement, where was it? Because it really was not substantial, um, but I'm gonna give that to the bulls because we did bounce back up just a little bit yesterday. That breadth was improving just a little bit, so possibly we're starting to pick up a little bit of that breadth as companies report more and more companies are coming out from under their blackout period. That allows for corporate buybacks to begin again, and that should help with this breadth in the market. So watch that carefully here today. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. In our economic calendar, we do have one pretty substantial market mover here today with the durable goods orders report. We'll want to be keeping an eye on that. That comes out here before the bell and certainly has that potential to move our markets. We see that we've got durable goods numbers. They are suggesting this comes down from a 0, 0.0 to a negative 0.5. And X transportation month over month, they're suggesting that goes to a negative 0.1. Keep an eye on that. Now, that's a pretty modest decline considering the hurricanes, considering um, what we're seeing in our consumer um, situation out there. So watch that closely. If they were to miss on this, and this happens to be more to the negative side, I would see the possibility that the market could react negatively to that. Now, on the other hand, if this comes in stronger than expected, I would see the market react bullishly to that. But at the same time, I'm likely we're likely to see bond yields react negatively to that situation and continue to move up um, with that worry that inflation might be a little bit hotter than we would like to believe it is. So watch that carefully. Um, we've got consumer sentiment. Sentiment numbers are expected out this morning with a little bit of increase of 69.0 up from 68.9. So that would be an improvement, albeit still a very low consumer sentiment reading. Uh, we've got Colin speaking and a Baker Hughes rig count today, which nobody's going to pay much attention to. Then if we take a look at our earnings calendar, well, our earnings, we have several notables here today. I'll run through them quick because there is no blog today. It's a no blog Friday. Um, we've got AON. That's getting a nice pop here this morning in the pre-market. AON looking good. Um, AN reporting, that's going the other direction. ABTR, BCPC, we've got B, Barnes Group reporting today. We're going to hear from BAH, nice pop there. CNC, nice pop there. We've got Colgate Palmolive, a little pop and drop happening on that. Um, FHB, will report today, GNTX, HCA, we've got LKFN, NWL, just a second, I gotta scroll my list here just a little bit, and then I've got PI, whoops, there we go, darn it. I don't know what's happening here. PIPR um, will be reporting today. We've got um, PGR reporting, excuse me, POR on the list. Uh, we've got SAIA, SAIA. Well, I'll get the symbol here eventually, guys. SAIA. And then we've got um, SNY, 
SXT, STEL, TNET, and WT all reporting here this morning. There are no notable earnings for after the bell today. So keep an eye on those for today. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these vi videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click the bell icon. Um, that helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And if you can click that thumbs up button as well and leave a brief comment, that really is the most helpful anymore because it helps the YouTube algorithm um, show that there's engagement with the video. So thank you so much. There's a lot of folks who watch this video, watch this channel without leaving comments. Um, I, I certainly understand that it gets boring and it, it's not fun to do that every single day, but it really does help a lot. So if you do uh, find um, that time, please, uh, please consider doing that to help the channel here. Um, also, um, thank you to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me A Coffee link just below the title of the video. And for those of you that share these videos out on the social media feed, your feeds, thank you so much. You can just click that link, share it out on your social media. It helps other people find the video. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market, realizing that there's a lot of earnings, a lot of things that can happen very, very quickly. So just um, plan your risk very carefully, follow your risk tolerances and your trading guidelines. Never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, first off, let's take a look at a few stocks in here that um, I think are looking pretty good and have patterns that I like. Um, take a look at DOCU. Now, DOCU placed a price alert on this. I really like the way this is potentially setting up. Trying to get a little bit of bullishness here this morning uh, to push through. Watch that carefully if that can pop on through here on DOCU every reason to believe that could so I would watch that close yesterday I brought up a uh, bumble uh, bumble um, didn't get much done yesterday but doing a little pop and drop here this morning so keep an eye on that that's broken this downtrend this is in a nice little rounded bottom breakout pattern really like the way that is potentially setting up keep an eye on bumble that's a nice one uh, TSM TSM, um, really nice little resting consolidation, something you'd almost look as kind of a J hook type pattern, but it's also setting up in a nice little tight box here, nice little resting pattern in here. As we slide over here toward trend, look for that opportunity for that to pop on through to the upside. Keep an eye on TSM, really liking the way that stock is coming together. Uh, take a look at AT&T. AT&T had that really big pop a couple of days ago, rested yesterday, pulling back just a little bit here in that chart. I wanna see that rest a little bit more out here toward trend. Doesn't necessarily have to pull back, but as long as we can hold some support in here and rest out here toward trend, I would look for that next opportunity to pick up some of AT&T here. And remember, this and this is past its earnings, so you don't have to worry about that here on AT&T. Looking good overall. Um, this Canva, or excuse me, Carvana, still looking very good. Just kind of creeping to the upside, but still showing quite a bit of strength in there. I would watch that carefully on Carvana. Um, some of the banks um, had a good day yesterday. Take a look at uh, JP Morgan. It wasn't quite able to break this resistance up here, but certainly we have a potential setup here right along this trending area here. If JP Morgan can get that inspiration in the market, I could see some new highs coming in JP Morgan. Stocks like BAC 
also putting in decent upside patterns. And the Bank of America has been going around closing, I think the number I saw yesterday, 136 locations, they've closed them up. So they're reducing some of their costs that usually helps that balance sheet. So watch that carefully in here as this rests or consolidates, may have that opportunity for a little upside move in there. If this is the upside trend, there you go. We have that opportunity. We can just stretch right on through to the upside. So keep an eye on some of those financials in here. Um, other stocks, take a look at this CPNG. CPNG has been resting and consolidating in here. Lost some support, and regained the support. Now it's starting to look like it could be getting closer out here toward that trend where it might be ready to push on through to the upside. I'd keep an eye on CPNG. Look Looking pretty good overall there. Um, watch that closely. Um, BMY, now BMY continues to rest in this consolidation. And I gotta tell you guys, I, I, I've been in this trade. I closed it yesterday for, it was a longer term hold for a really nice profit. And I still think this has that potential to push on through here, but we do wanna keep um, um, in mind that we've got these upcoming uh, earnings next week. And in this pattern, we have that potential. This could go either direction. So be kind of careful with some of these. Um, we've got a lot of those stocks in that situation right now. Let's take a look at Google. Google um, continues to just struggle in here in this consolidating move. We've slipped past this really long-term trend that we've had in that chart. And we're tucked up against this resistance right in here. This is another one I would be really careful with. This is gonna report on the 29th. And of course, anything is possible in here on this. Remember, Google's got these big um, legal situations going on with the government. Um, um, and I trust kind of things, the possible talk of breakup of Google. So watch that carefully in here. That could have some impacts on their, their balance sheet. Watch that carefully um, here as that progresses toward earnings. Um, AMD. AMD has faded this um, upside trend back into this chart. And we're really starting to look like that potential that this could continue to drift on lower. We've got that head and shoulders type top in here starting to happen in that chart, but you do want to recognize this is going to report on the 29th. So once again, I think you got to be really, really careful with these coming into their earnings reports. Could be a lot of big pops or drops in those. And I am kind of concerned, I'm seeing some of the stories here on Apple, um, that Apple may run into a little bit of trouble. We saw, um, uh, Microsoft today is getting a downgrade. Uh, KeyBank is downgrading them uh, to an underweight because they, they're they afraid iPhone sales may not be where they expect. And we saw that report here just a couple of days ago that Apple um, and canceled 10 million orders for um, iPhone 16. So might be a little bit of softness in there. Be kind of careful on this one. We've slid back here to test this upside trend, which would normally be that place that I'd be looking for the potential buy. But I gotta tell you with earnings coming up here on the 31st, I would hesitate just a little bit and be kind of careful on this because this um, has that potential of stumbling. And I think if we get one or two of these big tech giants to stumble, if they were to stumble, then um, we could have some trouble in the market because that we are so focused on tech in this market. So be really careful in this sector um, of the world. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you great results in your trading. And I also wanna remind everyone, we've got that special going on. Um, uh, that you can become a trial member of Rightway Options for seven bucks for a full month. Seven dollars, you come on in to the room and um, check out what we do, see if we're right for you. You can follow along, ask any question that you want during the day. You're gonna have um, at least 
10 hours at least 10 hours of direct access to me every single week to ask any question you want have me talk about trades lay out things talk about strategies whatever you would like to so if you have an interest in any of that would like to find a, a place where um, we have a great group of, of trained traders to participate with us we'd love to have you so come on over and take a look go to the hit and run candlesticks website there are links for the trial right there on the front page love to see you there y'all take care have a great day and i will see you right back here bright and early monday morning wish you all the best